tell us your name and what you do for a living. Hi, uh, I'm Max Wallahan, uh, and I am a physicist, inventor, entrepreneur, and, well, I guess change maker. Uh, I'm 13, and I feel like I can change the world, and I've already started my positive impact on it. What have you done? How have you changed the world so far? So aside from inventing uh, a whole bunch of different stuff that probably won't matter now, but my most recent thing, which has gotten me a little bit of attention online, is my energy device, where I extract electromagnetic energy from everything around us and convert it into electrical energy. In other words, a stream of unlimited energy. So, you know. So, do you think you can solve our energy crisis here on planet Earth? I believe I, I will, and I believe I already have solved the main problem. Now it's just a, a matter of, you know, getting this out there. And what do you need to be able to get this out there? You just need somebody to watch this video and say, here's some money, or what do you need? Well, all I can think of really is support, you know. Throughout history, uh, people like me have been uh, prosecuted and killed, murdered, um, and a lot of other very horrible things. And if I have support from a lot of people, I don't think that... Um, that will happen in our modern day and age. We're a little bit too civilized for that. So all I'm saying is that if you think the world should be a better place too, then, you know, support. Okay. So we started off by talking about my book, E equals MC squared and the new definition of God. And you told me that you had already come to the same conclusion three years ago. And that my book was a dumbed down version of your theory, which I think it's clearly the case. What is God? So, um, Yes, and people walking around down in the basement here. Go ahead. What what is what is God? Okay, so uh, a lot of people think God is quite in the biblical sense a guy sitting up on a cloud who controls uh, the universe, frankly, and has created all life. But uh, my definition of God is not like that. I don't believe God is a person or entity. Uh, God is just another form of energy, or well, actually is energy himself not even himself, itself, for the fact that um, if you look at the Bible and other really, you know, awesome but extremely vague and unreliable sources in religion uh, that, you know, hold these sources that we find and facts that we find or so-called facts that we find and really a lot of people think it's just about faith. Um, but if you relate the Bible to quantum physics and apply most of the laws, actually, in a less of a figure se figurative sense, but more of a literal sense, and replace it with things like the universe, uh, you'll, you'll eventually find out that it explains in-depth quantum physics, quantum physics and astrophysics um, experiments and theories. Well, maybe not theories, because maybe now they're proven. Who knows, maybe the Bible isn't a story of something that happened on Earth, but maybe a story of how our universe began. For the fact that, honestly, I don't really buy into the literal biblical sense, like, you know, God is literally a guy who looks like us, who sits up in an alternate realm that's in our clouds and, you know, watches over all of us, but I guess you could say that he's an energy form that created all, is all, and is everywhere and nowhere at the same time. God, or energy, lives within us, through us, and can... And is us. And is us, frankly. So you said what, that God is the energy that is in us, created us, and is us. Pretty is that yes. is that your definition? Yep. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Sorry, yeah, God is energy, that's my thing. And I mean, like, you look at dimensional theory, and eventually we have, you know, a singularity at the beginning of the universe that is energy, and then, you know, eventually that begins to slow down in vibration due to entropy or some other law of that sort, and then, you know, first you get photonic light, and then that slows down, and then we get matter, and then that slows down, and then who else knows what comes next? We have gravity, and then we have time, you know, all coming in at one sense. I mean, does that sound like an origin story to you? It kind of does a little bit to me, but, you know, maybe that's just a coincidence. Uh, maybe these philosophers or unreliable monks, we call them, that lived up in the mountains and wrote this weird book that doesn't have any factual evidence behind it. Maybe they were quantum physicists ahead of their time, and maybe they're just trying to tell people, you know, who 
lived a crazy long time ago though, that there is an entire new quantum world out there but you know education wasn't too good back then so i guess they had to simplify intense quantum physics to something that a five-year-old could understand like the bible right <laughs> So you're saying people who believe in the Bible as written as the Bible conventionally are kind of like five-year-olds? Um, well, 500 years ago? No, sorry, a thousand years ago, probably. But uh, more of like, I'm saying, maybe in the sense of not really like I Right now, I'm just beginning to 